Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another video. My name is Efren. I have been diagnosed with stage three cancer of the small intestine, and this is an update to update all my family and friends on how I'm doing and the progress. And in case anyone is just randomly tuning in or this video pops up on your feed, uh, hopefully it's able to help you. And um, if you're going through something similar, through some type of rare cancer, mine is rare. It's uh, small intestine cancer, which it's not very common. Um, but anyhow, here's my update. So this is, uh, I've just completed round eight. Round eight, round right? Eight. Round eight of chemotherapy. I have 12 rounds. Um, and it's getting long. It's getting tiring. Um, but every round has been slightly different. And uh, I'm uh, overall, I guess, to get straight to the update, I'm feeling okay, feeling good. My hands and my feet, I don't know if you can see it on the video. Oh, you kind of can see it on the video a little bit. My hands are really red. That's kind of the neuropathy or hand feet syndrome, or I don't know what they call it. And it, it burns, it's hard to grab stuff. My feet are, are kind of the same way. Um, looks better than it's looked before, but uh, it, it's, it's pretty annoying. Uh, that's really the main thing that I've been feeling for round eight. Um, and I've been really, really tired, actually. Oh, actually, I take that back. I did get a bout of hiccups the other day as well, which, you know, hiccups slash stomach spasms. Hiccups makes it sound less than it is. It's more like a stomach spasm where it, it um, it's really intense and uncomfortable. So that's round eight, um, eight of 12. So I've got four rounds left. I'm getting closer to the finish line. As I'm getting closer, I'm getting more excited, but I'm also getting more frustrated because it's kind of, you know, it's there and it's been, I feel like this has been going on forever. So as you can see, I have my beautiful wife here and um, I got over here to add some color to the <laughs> video because I feel like I, you know, it's just good to hear from somebody different. But I, from my perspective, I'm feeling okay. I'm tired. My hands and my feet hurt. Uh, I'm getting a little frustrated because I feel like this journey is just going on forever and um, mentally it is a little bit of a challenge and she's the one that has to deal with the mental challenge more than anybody because I put it all on her. So uh, I know these videos are helpful for people going through something similar and I know for that people that are going through something similar, it's not just you, it's the entire family that is part of the journey. So I think it's important for you to hear from someone other than me. So, so um, yeah, and also he didn't really want to talk as much today. Let's be tired. honest, he's tired. <laughs> um, and so um, I said, okay, he's like, come on, do it with me. And I was like, all right, um, I'll share more details. Um, I definitely think that he's tired. Uh, we're 75% done though, so we're super excited about that. So we have four more rounds to go. Um, our end date is in sight, and we're really excited. Um, so the rounds have been better in the sense of what happened in round three. Um, but I'm going to give you a little bit more details because I know he's tired, and sometimes he doesn't recall the details as much, or if he does, it's, it's, I think it's harder sometimes to maybe share the details uh, a little bit more. Um, but we do so because for those who are going through something similar, just to know what can happen. As we know, everybody reacts very differently. And uh, before every chemo session, we pray. I pray um, that nothing too crazy happens. Um, so we're really excited to share um, for just for everybody to know. So one of the things definitely what Ethan shared is um, it's now hitting the mental stage for sure. I've definitely noticed that starting round seven, um, last round, um, where it gets, it's getting harder. Um, I think the journey seems very long. It's long, it's long, I feel like forever. I feel so, like I've been at this thing for a long, long time. And so definitely there's still the side effects of um, you know the hand and feet syndrome, uh, which is this redness um, on both. Uh, extremities um, and we keep it hydrated one of the things we use is hydrocortisone um, I put that on uh, which really has I believe has helped because they have not peeled to the extreme that it had initially 
um, put this first and then we tend to put some other lotion on top sometimes something like aquaphor um, but if that gets too greasy mm -hmm. if you don't like that feeling I just put some regular lotion on but I do think this has helped tremendously uh, with the peeling um, but this round a lot of tingling yeah. non-stop yeah, it's hard to even which, grab anything or, that is yeah. the neuropathy so what you see in the color that's the foot and hand syndrome and the peeling is that neuropathy is a sensation that he was feeling which are on his fingertips um, Thursday um, when he first got administered the first part of the chemo um, his hands were extremely itchy he could not stop scratching his hands yeah, that's right, Forgot about right? That. so he was really really itchy um, and after they disconnected that chemo which is which one the oxaliplatin and the leucovorin is the one I get on Thursday and then they send me home with a called 5-FU. Okay, so the first part that they give us, which is about a five and a half hour session. Session. Um, so, I mean, we're gone by 7.30 and we don't get back to like 2.30 or so, um, 3 o'clock. <clears throat> so it's a long day. Um, so hands get really, really itchy. Um, so, and then he's very, very tired as well. Come the evening, extremely tired. Um, and you just don't feel well. Yeah, I just feel... Just doesn't blah. feel right. It's just like uh, I slept a lot this weekend. I I slept, uh, gosh, probably more than 16, 17 hours over the course of the weekend. Uh, just a lot of sleep, and I feel like I need more sleep. And on my side, I am grateful when he's sleeping. Number one, I feel like, good, let time pass so he doesn't feel all these things. Let him sleep, let him sleep. Second part is he just needs to rest. Uh, he comes home with a chemo bag uh, until it's removed on uh, for 46 hours until Saturday. So that one is the one that starts the spasms slash hiccups, um, <clears throat> which are kind of triggering because we experienced such a horrific moment in round three <clears throat> that I think that when they start, I know for me, it's like kind of a flashback. It's like, oh my God, stay calm, stay calm. But luckily we have this wonderful little sucker, which is super, super small, tiny pill, baclofen, which is a muscle relaxant. Um, so literally it takes about 28 minutes for it to hit once he starts it. But the downfall of baclofen is that he is extremely tired. Wipes me out. And it's a muscle relaxant. So of course, it's not going to only to relax the muscle in his abdomen for those um, spasms, but it relaxes all of his body. And although it may sound, oh, relax, no, it's kind of like where you feel very weak. Yeah. Um, really fatigued. Really fatigued, and that could be a little overwhelming, I think, what I see mentally. Yeah, I'm not just not used to feeling weak, and, and yeah, I'm not able to really do anything, and it's just frustrating. So a reminder, I constantly remind him, it's just these next couple of days. Um, so Friday, we do have to take the back a little bit more frequent, and uh, as well as Saturday. Uh, but luckily today, no, we haven't needed to take it, so that's really awesome. Um, so, and the other thing that really helps is sometimes what we've noticed is for him to get up and dance. I know it sounds ridiculous, but it does help. Um, and I think part of it, no doctor, but this has helped. But when he's sitting, I feel like it's contracted a little bit more and he gets some, he was getting them about every eight seconds, um, like nonstop. Um, so he took the back of and then I said, all right, let's, let's get up and dance. The secret song is La Chona. It is true. La Chona. <laughs> so we put that song on and we dance. And um, as hilarious as it sounds, it has worked. So it went from eight <laughs> seconds between every single hiccup to about 24 minutes after La Chona. Yes, 24 minutes after that. So I don't know what the science is behind that. I don't even know if there is any, but all I know is that that really worked. It worked twice. Twice. It's twice that I got hiccups and twice La Chona came to the rescue. Yes. So mm -hmm. that's a little, uh, little tidbit. Uh, with that, and then what else? Um, he does have gabapentin, um, and that's for the neuropathy. Um, we did take that 
after the chemo um, because of his sensation in his hands, which what I noticed is that really, um, it's just tiring of feeling that way. It's a nonstop from what you described, nonstop tingling, uh, especially this time on the fingertips, but the thumbs and your big toe were the ones that really got impacted this yeah. time, right? And you can't really do anything without your thumb. You can't grab anything. It's really frustrating. Yeah. So I think, you know, that frustration is building up little by little. Um, but one thing that, you know, we talk about and something we, you know, chat about a lot at night before we go to bed is the importance of prayer. And uh, without a doubt, <clears throat> you know, once you start feeling that way, I always, um, we pray together at night all the time. And uh, it's a calm. It brings peace. And so I mentioned to Ephraim, you know, whenever you're feeling overwhelmed, um, when you're feeling those negative thoughts, um, that's a sign to start praying, um, to bring you peace. And it has. And, and that's um, the importance of teamwork, uh, having someone there just to remind you that. And I know at the end of the day, like I've got cancer in the small intestine. If the biggest thing I have to worry about is tingling in my thumbs and toes, I know I'm in good shape. But dang, it's just been so long. It's just getting so frustrating. So I know, I know, logically, it feels like everything is progressing the right way. I actually have another scan on Tuesday, which hopefully everything goes well with the scan. I'll, I'll update you all in the next video on, on the results of the scan. But I, I get it in my mind, uh, logically. I have cancer in the small intestine, and the biggest issue I have is tingling in my hands and feet. I'm in good shape. That that's a win. But it's still just, I just don't feel great. So it gets frustrating after a while. Yeah. But the teamwork helps. She reels me back in and it, it absolutely helps every night. Definitely. So, and also all your continued prayers. Um, we feel them, keep them coming. We have, we're 75% done. Um, and like he mentioned, we have a scan um, Tuesday. Tuesday of this week and then results the following week. And then uh, next session will be also next week, which will be. Um, you know, wow, nine, nine, nine. Oh my gosh, so excited. Um, and the one thing I also that we talked about is once those thoughts, negativity, or just just the downside of of having to go through all this is prayer and reading and filling your cup with things to distract you from those thoughts. And I know he's been reading this book. Um, it's Everyday Strength, A Cancer Patient's Guide to Spiritual Survival. <clears throat> um, and I think it's very important. And I tend to remind him, you need to read something. You need to listen to something that's positive. Mm -hmm. um, and we were blessed because um, Ephraim did an amazing job at work, and he was um, earned a recognition trip, and it was amazing. And we actually flew out to California um, last weekend. Right? Yeah. So we weren't sure if we're, it was an off week, and we weren't sure, <clears throat> depending on how we felt. Um, you know, long day of travel, and uh, you did amazing. It was a good, good, uh, good little getaway. It was perfect. Uh, I feel like the timing was, was really good um, and much needed. Uh, I felt personally on my behalf uh, that it was much needed time together, um, and it was a wonderful wonderful location wonderful time and uh awesome to being able to celebrate as you may know as you heard Ephraim, he has not stopped working <clears throat> and so um i love that i was there to be able to witness such hard work and dedication um and also just to witness all the relationships he i know him of course but to see him in that realm of his job and seeing how many people really love Ephraim and are so grateful to him for so many different reasons um, was just something that really fueled my soul and I'm really proud of you um, and so it was a really great trip and I'm so blessed that we were able to go spend time and he did very well he walked so much I think more than you have yeah you guys had a dance floor at the, one of the closing ceremonies and danced a lot as well and that's why I didn't get hiccups no chona at that party <laughs> but I did dance a lot danced a lot so that's the so um so yeah so that's a little bit of the update um <clears throat> what else hair is growing we his hair is growing I think round three the one that we had a really really hard time with um his hair just like came off 
and it is growing. And if you look, he has a little part here, but right here, look at that. Look at that. That is so much more than before. Before, he had it like pretty bald up here, which um, is really exciting because I know that our oncologist has said typically the hair doesn't fall off with this one. Typically, it thins out, but not necessarily completely. So his hair is growing, and uh, that's coming a positive back. thing. It's coming back, and um, you know I think that's we have to look at all the wonderful positive things. Um, but most of all. I would just want to take the time, a couple more seconds, just say thank you to everyone. Um, there are no words. Just share kindness. Your kindness goes so far and it impacts someone so, so much. So, um, so that's a scoop. And the last little product that I always use, you know it, <laughs> Vicks. Love our Vicks. Uh, when he gets a little overwhelmed. <laughs> If, any, if anyone from VIX is listening and wants to sponsor this video, VIX is amazing. <laughs> we'll be happy to accept you as a yes. sponsor. So VIX is good. Um, yeah, that's the update. Thank you to my beautiful wife for uh, filling in because it is tiring, I'm tired. Um, but I know I'm getting closer to the end. And. Um, so I don't feel horrible. I just don't feel great. And it's just frustrating because I just feel like it's been a super long, long journey. But um, we're getting there. We're getting there slowly but surely. I go back to um, the good old Tigres del Norte who say Un Dia La Vez. That song is kind of the adopted theme song. So I'm just keeping it going. Un Dia La Vez, one day at a time. And um, that's just kind of how we're living right now. One day at a time. And... Um, that's that's it. So just trying to feel as good as we can. Uh, another good thing that happened over the last uh, since the last update, my daughter has finished her first year of college, and she is now back at home. So it's great to have her at home uh, as well. I think she's around. Maybe she could pop her head in and say hello, along with our dog here. There's Sophia. Great to make my debut. <laughs> so she is back. She had a great first year of college, and having her back is helping me as well. And our dog over there is excited to be in the video as well. So thank you all. Um, anything else before we wrap? No, that's about it. Um, just thanks for your support. And uh, round eight is in the books. We'll see you after round nine. Thanks Bye. again for all your prayers. Keep them coming. I know God is not only hearing them, he is answering them because I do feel better than I should. And it's 100% due to all your prayers all your thoughts, all your positive vibes that you guys are sending me. So thank you. And I ask you, please keep those coming uh, as well as you know, prayers for everyone else going through tough times right now. Uh, there's a lot of power in prayer. And I truly believe that. And uh, we can make miracles happen with prayer. So thank you for that. And we'll talk to you after round nine of 12. Yes. See you soon.